<laughs> so that lets you know <laughs> his nickname is Ray Ray. So it, it, it is crazy. No, like his his nickname was literally Ray Ray. That, that is crazy. He got a pregnant. Yeah. And we know Ray Ray's nature. Ray Ray ain't taking care of his kids. <laughs> and he was pregnant. Hey, hey. <laughs> and he was pregnant. <laughs> This is SOS. I'm squish. SOS I'm squish. Squish. Yeah. Squish. You got a nice juicy beer. What is that? I'm squish. 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 This is SOS. I'm Squish. I'm Smitty. Please hit the like subscribe button. Also leave a comment down below. Even if we're trash on the y'all. Today's topic. Revenge of the nerds. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows, if you grew up in the hood as, as a black nerd, well, technically, you're classified in this. If you're not into street stuff, if you're not into banging, if you're not into just crazy things like that, you're classified in one section. Unfortunately. Well, if you're not a pretty boy as well. Yeah. Into a black nerd. And let's be honest, people. A black nerd back in the day, Got no play. Yeah, no play. No play. And so we wanted to show you a little bit or talk about this and touch on this subject about how this correlates with Passport Bros. One thing is this. You got people like Steve Urkel, mm -hmm. Carter Banks. Yeah. You know, people like that that you've seen on TV that everybody make fun of. Yes. But these are the same guys that you see grow up to make a lot of money. And now they're finding another uh, alternative to just tr travel overseas and get a traditional woman. What's the guy name that, that we always like? Uh, RDC World? Oh, oh RDC yeah. World. RDC World, back mm -hmm. in the day, like in the hood, they would have tried to shame them for like an anime. Mm -hmm. Like, the, everybody's on an anime trend. I remember that before it was trending. Yes. If you watch anime, they called you a weirdo. Yeah. I remember that. Yes. They would call you a weirdo. Anything like anime or you watch Star Trek. Power Rangers. Yeah, pop, anything that was in, though, they threw you up on the bus for that. Mm -hmm. They call you know mm -hmm. now. It now lately it's become trending mm -hmm. because everybody's jumped on the whole anime thing. Mm -hmm. But all the guys got put in one sector. And, and uh, let's tell the truth, me nerds back in the day didn't get no play. Oh no, nerds, no, especially, no, especially if you're in the hood or a black predominantly black neighborhood, mm -hmm. you got no play. <laughs> <laughs> no, now that's the crazy uh -huh. part about it. Only the the pretty boy who who likes nerdy stuff will get play. And only, and we talking about from the nerd side, and only the athlete who's a nerd, but he still wouldn't get played like the regular athlete. Well, you got to throw the future, the future guy in there, the future character, the Pookies. Mm -hmm. The Pookies just rack up. Oh, yeah, the Ray Ray, Ray Pookie then racked up. Mm -hmm. That's why I say toward the buddy, and you like, yo, Ray Ray Pookie you know, runs all the kids too. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen to this. So, true, true story, y'all. Right, I won't say her name. So, in middle school, I had a biggest crush on this one chick. Um, sixth and seventh grade, right? Come to find out, seventh grade, I mean, like, everybody liked her. Come to find out, seventh grade, she gets pregnant. Mm -hmm. By a, I'm going I'm to call out his nickname. I, I, I can't call out his real Just name. Just say, dude. So don't throw nobody up on the bus. <laughs> no, I'm about to say. No, this, this correlates Go to ahead. everything. Go ahead. You know how you say the Pookie and Ray Ray's? Yeah, what's his nickname? Ray Ray. Ah! <laughs> so that lets you know like, his nickname is Ray Ray. So it, it, it is crazy. No, like his, his nickname was literally Ray Ray. That, that is crazy. He got a pregnant. Yeah. And we know Ray Ray's nature. Ray Ray ain't taking care of his kids. And he was pregnant. Hey, hey, <laughs> and he was pregnant. It's a video floating around on TikTok where it's a dude sitting in a car venting about him being like seven baby daddy, the baby daddy and seven. I got seven one. kids and seven baby mamas. Now, for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yet not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times, they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me. Access denied. Because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. 
And I don't give a when nobody think about it. You're not going to force children upon me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out because I'm not the one that's going to have to carry a baby for nine months. It's the woman. In my opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Because you're going to be like, one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is, these just jump offs. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body. And they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them? Like, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat, he don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a f You ain't gonna force these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I say, it's my life, my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this and be like, black man this, black man that, I don't give a it was I nuts. Really and he was on there complaining about he wasn't going to take care of the kids. Don't yeah. force him to do it. Mm -hmm. Them dudes like that are real characters of walking around. It, back and that's what people don't understand. Oh, oh another thing, too. Yeah. If you was into video games, ah, you was calling You her. got thrown up under the bus. Or <laughs> if it wasn't Madden, I think Madden and like one of them 2Ks or something. Yeah, it's a sports you game. It, if your sports game, you can get away with it. Anything else game. outside that, you get thrown under the bus. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, now we're in the video game age where it's not as taboo and that you don't get trashed as mm -hmm. much for doing being like that mm -hmm. like i say R rdc world got a lot of followers right now oh yeah and they joke around about anime stuff all the time all the time if you tried that back in the day early, early oh, back in the day, man, oh, oh they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't oh. you couldn't talk about final fantasy yeah <laughs> you could not talk matter of fact i'm trying to think of another one yeah castlevania final fantasy Anyway, you had like little fantasy games like that, Dungeons and Dragons and different things like that. Oh man, you get oh uh, yeah, you talking about card games, and Pokemon <laughs> trading. And all. Oh man, they don't clown the hell out of you. They just crucify you. <laughs> but this is why I kind of laugh, like even with the Michael B. Jordan and some of these guys now, mm -hmm. the world back in the day. Anybody that's viewed, unfortunately, as an intellectual, kind of mm -hmm. in the black community, mm -hmm. it almost like. You get made fun of for being smart. Yeah, it's almost like smart person. You get made fun of like you stupid. Have you ever heard? Have you ever heard this one? We all heard this in the hood. Yo, dude, that always get straight A. That looks smart ass. Yeah, <laughs> you smart. know, like smart. I, I, a lot of you not. One day in high school, bro. Yeah. yeah. They were clowning a kid for having a daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got a daddy. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so that's so how some stuff is half backwards in the community sometimes. Yes. They yes. clown them for having a, 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 a stable home. <laughs> for having two parents, you got clowned about it. And, and that's crazy. Yeah. Now, the reason why we were bringing up this correlation to passport bros, uh, some of the guys, not all, not all, I'm saying majority, I'm saying 50 to 60%. Other guys were black nerds most of the time. Because a lot of them are business owners or IT guys or guys that's making decent money that goes out the country and be passport bros. And then military, of course. Yeah. So that's what I'm about to say. I say from the, the guys I've spoken to, been on the road, bumping into actual passport bros that you talk to, people who are actually traveling, mm -hmm. not what y'all arguing about on TikTok, this imaginary fantasy land of people y'all don't know. Yeah. A lot of those guys were business owners, digital nomads, mm -hmm. like. People that were really intelligent guys yeah. that I talked to about stuff. You learn a lot, actually, too, mm -hmm. from bumping into those guys. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say, yeah, it might be a passport pookie or two that jumps in there. Mm -hmm. But overall, he can't sustain that lifestyle. Exactly. That's why we don't worry about the passport pookie too much. He's going to do that once or twice and then end up in DR. He can't get back home. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> after that, <laughs> he's going to fall out because he can't pretty much sustain the lifestyle. And another thing, too, and what he's saying about the passport pookie. Some of them, if they go to the wrong country, it's going to either be kicked out or they're going to be robbed. Yes. So so we don't worry about them. We know they're going to play themselves out, out the game. That's what's going to happen with them. They're going to play themselves smooth out the game. This this is the funny part, too, how, like I say, if you know about traveling, a lot of things that the what Passport Pookie would like to do, as in being flashy mm -hmm. and out of the open and up, is a very big no-no when it comes to traveling. 
Mm-hmm. If you want to get robbed in 30 seconds, mm-hmm. go to these countries being over flashy with jewelry and throwing your money all over the place. Watch how quick you lose you lose your wallet. Exactly. Advertisement exactly. of money like that is not a big thing when you're traveling from these different places. Tell them about the soliciting in, in Egypt. Oh, you're talking about just... Yeah, yeah. hey, yeah. don't... don't Cause I'm not gonna bash. Yeah, yeah. The not, place, no, no, we're not gonna bash. But you. put your no hat on when you go somewhere like Egypt, because mm-hmm. you're gonna have a lot of people come up to you, ask you for things, mm-hmm. ask you for help or whatever. You kind of gotta be on the up and up and p's and q's. Don't let nobody take your bags. Yeah. Or nothing. He's gonna charge you five dollars. Mm-hmm. So they have a real. It's almost like a. I would say New York in the sand. Yeah. Type of go go go. Let's get money. Mm-hmm. Hey, you need a cab ride? Get in. Get in now. We're gonna go here. Mm-hmm. Real fast pace thing. And that's man. what I'm talking about with the passport, Pookie. Like yeah. if he go over there, they flash stuff. He won't be able to go nowhere. Nope. Because nope. they're going to be all over nope. the whole time. Nope. The big gold chains and all that. We did that video I did on the dude in the DR throwing money. Yeah. You see how I'm like, bro, why are you throwing money in DR? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, a lot of um, the things that we do in the States with the over flashiness is a big no no. Mm-hmm. Very, very big no no. So leave that at home when you travel. Mm-hmm. Now, also with Black Nerds, ladies, I'm going to talk to y'all now. Y'all want to talk about these passport bros, right? Why they got to talk about women. They don't never talk about women. We just leave you alone. The other part of it is that when y'all talk down about these guys, y'all never had th- even thought about these guys. Yeah, I mean, y'all literally did not think nothing of them at all. So for y'all to come over here and be a hypocrite about it and come back over here and say, oh, no, well, they, why they got to do that? Yeah, they can find women over here. No, 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 no. Some of these dudes could. Some of these dudes can't. And, or some of them dudes just don't care, and they just going to exit out the game, period, and just find somebody they want to talk to. Yeah, and I don't think it's even just all about finding girls. Once again, what I tell you, Smitty, it's an ideology. Mm-hmm. We're very Americanized, Westernized. Mm-hmm. We have our way of thinking. And the big, our biggest argument we have about this is, I think, as Westernized culture, as America, sometimes we get called an echo chamber. I think Americans, that because a lot of us don't go anywhere, yeah. we tend to think our own ideas that we bounce off the wall is the way the rest of the world thinks. Exactly. And that's not true. Exactly. That's why I say they got to kind of get over Western, especially Westernized women, got to get over that. Say, hey, man, other parts of the world don't move and operate like you do. Let it be. Pick this. So, speaking of that, I'm glad you brought that up about echo chambers. Cultures, right? Because our culture is totally different. American or well, Westernized culture is totally different from everybody else. You have to understand, if people go to somewhere else and they don't look like me, but I enjoy their culture, it's nothing against me. It's just, it's something about that culture I like. It might be more traditional or it might be just more of my style that I enjoy and I can embrace. You have to understand that part. So just because you can't understand it don't mean it's not right. Yeah. And you know, they always try to, they turn a narrative that somehow that the the passport bro thing was about hating black women. Yeah. What? Have you been to Brazil or South America? Those women look like black women. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. So it has nothing to do with a skin color and an ideology Mm -hmm. or a way of thinking or a mindset Mm -hmm. more than it is about what someone looks like. So I don't know why they put at the forefront of it that this was just about trash and black women. I don't know. It might be one or two pookies on there to jump around there and threw threw that around, but most of the passport bros are talking to other black, other other brothers. Yeah. We weren't talking to women. The other thing, too, you're absolutely correct about that. The other thing, too, people. Do y'all know Tupac was really a black nerd and he just converted over? It's, people don't understand it for like in high school, he just went to a creative arts uh, school. He just happened to be a person that figured out what, eh, can't get women doing this way. So uh, let me go all the way to the dark side. Yeah. What was that school we went to with poetry? It was uh, in Julian? Baltimore. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. Julianne. It was yeah, just Julianne. Julian, I, 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 yeah, I, I, something I like that. Yeah, Pac, Pac did first coming out, he was kind of like a. Poetic kind of nice guy. He got the whole video of when he was younger talking about like mm-hmm. being a nice guy and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So something like what they turns to, like he got hit with the Michael B. Jordan thing. You know, they, they called him corny earlier. Mm-hmm. He backflapped all the way to the other side to the whole thug thing. So, hey, tell you, man, it's a it's a vicious cycle. And it's a vicious game. That's what it comes down to. But women want Tupac. They want the intellectual nerd, but they also want the thug. You can't get a, you can't get it all. You just can't. They would have come down to it. Yeah, and the downside of the thug is they don't understand he's not a family man. He's kind of degenerate. Yes. So yes. you can't build a family structure around somebody that's kind of degenerate pretty much. And he always got something going on that's not good. Yeah, it might be exciting at first, but like I said, once he ruined your life, <laughs> he ruined your life. Take this charge, girl. <laughs> Who's going to go first? <laughs> When you're running your life, okay. <laughs> no, no, for real. Hey, tell, you're saying, hey, just take a couple years to be okay. 
Like, I'm the only one? Yeah, you the only one in my life. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, man. <laughs> you know how it goes with that, man. But yeah, uh, a lot of it's a, a lot of stuff that I say, a lot of these men, I don't think they really want it. Mm-hmm. I just think sometimes it's about options. That's yeah. why I say some people just want the option of it being now whether they want it or not. Mm-hmm. Because guys like, you know, like guys like Childish Gambino and people like that, mm-hmm. man, they, they, if they went to all black schools or whatever, they would not have done well. They not would not have done well. And that's just being openly honest. The other thing, too, to this topic, these guys, the black nerd, they don't understand. They actually advance the community. But the women don't understand that part. I mean, Well, some of the women. I don't say the women. Some of the women don't understand that these guys y'all calling corny and they're smart and all this stuff. The rocket scientists? Yes. Yeah. They're the ones that advance the community. Yeah. That's why they are very important. I understand why you get upset about them being passport bros because no matter what you do, their hue is going to show up in their child. So you got to deal with that. So, hey, what we say a long time ago, sometimes we don't need y'all as much as y'all think we need y'all. We can always replicate ourselves in another way with our, with our kids. With another, uh, oh, I know yeah, what you're saying. Saying, with another community. Not not saying that we're trying to jump to another community, but we can always make our own selves with somebody else. It don't have to be with just a, that. Yeah, particular and, you community. know, I view a lot of them people in the other countries as black people anyway. Yeah, that's, that's just me. Exactly. Like, they have African descent. They just speak another language and probably place was dropped off somewhere else. Exactly. So I don't really view it as this big thing of this separation, this cultures for, for me. So. Exactly. Yeah. But this is SOS on Squish. I'm Smitty. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, leave a comment down below. Even if we're trash on the y'all. Unfortunately, this is our reality. <laughs> so, get the nerves a chance before, uh, before they cop a flight with us. <laughs> hey, get the likes up. Hit the like button, people, please. Y'all have a good one.